Hey guys, well, we're gonna lock another fifth weapon, and the next fifth weapon we're gonna get is Shuju's. He also got five votes, so we're gonna go and play in original mode to get the fifth weapon. We're gonna go to the siege of Herfei Castle. We're gonna play in the Waze Forces, and obviously play as Shuju. And there we go, let's do it. Alright, so I'm gonna let you know straight up because I won't bullshit. I have actually made an attempt getting this fifth weapon and I stupidly failed. Uh, I was actually pretty damn close. I was literally two hits away from the feeding soon man, but it's not that matter. I just want to make sure it's actually possible getting it just playing as Shushu, just like the other ones. Well, the ones that I didn't feel comfortable with. So, it's possible. But anyway, when it comes to the fifth weapon requirements, if you know what you're doing, if you know, well, obviously if you know what you're doing, but if you know the tricks with Shuju, because, well, there's some major flaws and you can have a really hard time just playing in Shuju, which I would refer to you doing the two player trick if you don't know the tricks. But I'm going to show off two tricks playing in Shuju which will make the fifth weapon to run, well, if you're just playing a Shushu, a lot easier on if you have to compare it on paper, but it's not going to be easy easy. Anyway, we know the intro, we know the conditions, the equipment, the weapon, here's the fourth weapon, which actually, <laughs> it has a little bit of everything, which is kind of nice. It has a little bit of health, well, a lot of health, a lot of musu, a lot of attack, a lot of defense, and it has luck. But I'm not really caring about the luck, it was just those four in particular. Anyway, the items. I'm going to be doing things a little bit different, and that is the Musu armor, the elixir, and the Taurus, I'm sorry, not Taurus, amulet, the way Musu. I won't be using the Taurus amulet, I won't be using the red hair, in fact, with the usual items that I always use, I won't be using any of that. So, what will I be using? I'll be using the survival guide and the defender and you might be thinking okay I have never used these two items before and I did say that they really don't work unless you're in red health and more importantly once you hit the floor and don't recover and just stay there and get up the hard way so to speak well yeah it doesn't help but if you when you if you're playing as Shuju, then he benefits from it a lot more if you had to compare it to someone trying to use the survival guide with Lubu, well, or in Defender, if you would say, like a character such as Lubu. But, um, yeah, I'll explain why once we actually start, but I think you might know where I'm getting at with these two items. Anyway, bodyguards. Like I said, I'll use the weight guards from here on out for the last four fifth weapons, and yeah. Anyway, let's do it. And like I said, on paper, this could be really hard, but it's really not. Well, I'll make it that it's very not. You just gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. Don't let the enemy near headquarters. Hold steady until reinforcements can attack them from behind. Alright, so to get Shuju's fifth weapon, what you have to do is, well, actually, think back when I actually went for Simi's fifth weapon. When I got Simi's fifth weapon, well, what I had to do to get that was defeat in order Lu Xun, Lu Meng, Sun Chang Xiang, and Gan Ning. And I also had to do that in nine minutes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, when it comes to Shuju's fifth weapon, I have to defeat those four in no particular order, even though I might just defeat them the same way anyway, just because Lu Xun is the closest, followed by Lu Meng, then Sun Shang Xiang, then Gan Ning. And I could take my sweet time doing it. So, yes, when it comes to time, I don't have to worry about it as much, but it's just, it's not going to be easy. I mean, I'll say this. 
even knowing the tricks, it's not going to be easy because you have to maintain certain things. And that's the hard part, even though it's kind of easy. If you know what you're doing, then it's easy. But I, I know I'm confusing you guys. I'm just going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. There's two tricks with Shuju that will help out a lot. First off is his Musu attack. Well, he has a good Musu attack, but it's more for getting rid of troops. Well, it's more for... I'm trying to find the best word for it. If you're surrounded, basically, that's what it's really for. That's just my opinion. It's better off that way. However, if you use a Musu attack and you trap them by a wall and you ricochet them off the wall, then you can consistently attack them with that Musu attack in the air. And believe it or not, it's actually pretty damn strong if you pull that off. Well, that's one of the tricks. I'm hoping to trigger that or show it off. The second one I will be definitely doing involves the Defender and the Survival Guide. Well, remember I said it benefits Suju more over any other character? Well, at the end of his... Well, to trigger the Survival Guide and Defender, what you need to do is... Well, be at red health, and when you get... When you get hit and fall to the floor, don't recover and do a backflip. Just get back up. I'll show you what I mean when I actually do it, but when you get up, it will pretty much activates. And since Shuju's Musu attack... Shall we begin? On guard. Yeah, since his Musu attack pretty much at the end of it sends him to the floor, once he gets back up, it will activate right off the bat. And when he involved the red health, well, once you have him at red health, you'll slowly get the Musu Gauge back up. So, that's the huge benefit for Shuju. You just gotta know how to do it, and I'm hoping to try to do it, and I'm hoping to get him off his damn horse. And I think I got him to shield up. Yes, I did. And let me make sure I have my guards at shielding. Because I keep on forgetting to set them to shield. Oh, no, I did the last time, right. But it took me a while to figure that out. And that was intentional because I'm getting down the red health. There's only one flaw with this trick. Well, two of them. The first one is, well... Yeah, the first one is dying, obviously, because you're going to be in the red, and that could be a major problem. And the second one, which is actually worse than the first, is if you do a Musu attack pretty much at the same time as the general or officer, then you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. There you go. So, once I'm on the floor, wait for that, and why the fuck is Zen G over here as well? And as you see, I activated both the survival guide and the defender, but why the fuck is Zen G over here? You know what, let's go over there and not worry about the Zen G and defeat Lu Shun. There we go. I'm not liking this angle. Well, at least I got another hit off of him that way. Now I'm scared for a Musu attack. Alright, so next is Lu Meng, and let's try not to be careless here. Booyah! 
Thank God he didn't use a Musu attack. That would have pissed me right off. I will not let you through. Try if you dare. Just wait. Give me. And then there we go again. And then rinse and repeat. Because it'll pretty much go off every single time you hit the floor and you have red health. Whoops, that was kind of careless on my end. Let's just say I got a little excited on that one. And I made him shoot it up like a freaking fortress. There we go. Well, I could always grab that, but it's just nice to go back up and grab the defender that way. Oh, oops. Maybe just bad timing on my part. Just wait, wait. There we go. Same thing, just wait it out. I mean, I hate staying on the floor like this, but it's really effective. It makes things so much easier. I mean, unless you want to do the two-player trick, which is something that I also recommend. Oh, hell no. And not using a Rusu attack on me. Goodbye? Yep, goodbye. Alright, now let's get health. Might as well activate it again. Just because, well. Let us join our allies. I don't want to get hit <laughs> with one hit by a random troop. And how many bodyguards do I even left? Oh, if that made any sense, but yeah, six. Okay, that's not bad. They look strong. Take heart. But yeah, I don't know if I said it already, but I'll say it again. If I didn't, if that makes sense. You can make Shuzu near invincible. If you do this, but like I said, there's two flaws. The first one is if you get hit too much and then you eventually die because there is a small window of red health to zero health. And the second one is if you basically clash with another and that could give you a world of hurt. But right now I am going to go and defeat Sun Shang Xiang. I mean, we're doing well so far, but I'm just amazed that I actually got two out of the four. I mean, I almost defeated Sun Xuan, but I'm just amazed because I didn't even think I could pull it off again. Because, you know the saying, pulling it off the first time is easy. But, well, in comparison to the second time, because the second time, it's much harder to do. That's just my opinion anyway. That's fine. I don't have to worry about it as much. And Sun Shang Xiang is over here. And we lost Zen Ji as well. When I failed the first time, I actually had every general alive. My bow is for more than just looks. Up to where Sao Rui and Mon Chang appeared.
And the part that sucks is Sun Shang Xiang is actually really fast. And well, Shuju really isn't. Whoa. Whoops. I honestly thought I had full Musu right there, but I didn't. We can't hold them. Whoops. That's fine. I'm not that really threatened by that. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I get double attack and double defense? Oh, right. I stand corrected. There is worse things than that. And that is her getting pretty much all the health back. Alright, there you go. I can get a clean Musu hit. And go back to the floor. And just chillax for a bit. Whoops, that was a cheap shot. I'm just not liking this angle. There we go, and I'm almost dead. Oh, there we go. Goodbye. I got really lucky with that wall trick. That's the wall trick I was mentioning. So yeah, that's that wall trick I was referring to before, and if you can do that, that's huge. Alright, so now, all we have left is Ganning when it comes to the 5th weapon requirements. It can't be. Good. We still have manpower. It's still hard to take that cutscene seriously. Yeah, that was just to get the <laughs> that was just get the double attack and defense in case something funny happens. But I'm gonna actually go to this gate and grab the health over there. And I know we lost a couple of generals. I know we well. Wow. We lost everybody except for Zhang Liao. But Simi Yi always goes to the left. I mean right, which is the area that I'm going into. But I should have enough time anyway. I mean the worst thing that could happen is Simi Yi gets killed. Or if I die. I mean, I'm not worried. Time to prepare. And I'm just hoping I can face Ganning without any interference by crossbows. But once I defeat Gan Ning, I'm going to book it and go straight for Sun Xuan. I mean, Zen G is still down there, which is a problem for me. And I knew those two don't stand a chance. As soon as they appear, they'll just disappear. Let's avoid the crossbows because we can't afford getting hit by crossbows. I mean, everyone knows how much I hate crossbows. Uh, Gan Ning is almost at that point, so that's great.
He's not facing anybody yet, but we gotta be quick. They call me Gandhin of the Bells. Let's play. Hopefully I can get him by a wall and do a couple of Musu attacks that way. And thank god he just did his, that way I don't have to worry about that. There we go. That's how you do it. Alright. There we go. Well, let's go and chase Ganning. Because he's over there by himself. There we go. And he's almost down. There you go. Goodbye. Alright, so that's the four right there, and we've done that. All we have to do now is, well, grab the item and defeat Sun Chuan. But the major issue I have right now is I'm going by foot. And I need to make sure I get there. And let me see the morale of everybody. Well, four, everything's eight. And I'm at six. The only thing I hear we pray for is... My troops are by Simi, that way it won't be that much of an issue. But no, my luck, I'm probably gonna get killed. Well, die, because, well, not technically die, but Simi is gonna get killed. Well, simply because he's too weak. If he have more generals, well, if he retreats, that's actually a good thing. But, uh, yeah, if we had more generals alive, then it would make things a little bit easier. It would be, it was really weird seeing Gen, uh, Senji by Lu Shun. Because I've never seen that. Even on fourth weapons, I've never seen that. And this fifth weapon location is in a really sketchy place. Not sketchy like suspicious, but you have to go around and do all that. It's around this area here. Uh, it is right over here. Alright, now we have to go for Sun Chuan. And I might set my bodyguards to attack. And I'm letting you know right now, my heart is beating out of my fucking chest. It really is. Uh oh. Those who oppose the Soon family will die. Alright, if we're up here, that's not the worst thing in the world. And I think he shielded it up. Yes, he did. 
which is unfortunate. Wrong person, and let's set it to attack. That way, more troops will be distracted. Yeah, take all my health away, that's fine. Well, not all of it, but still. That was one way to do that. Whoa. There you go. Now it's showtime. Aren't we too far ahead? So I come in a mile away. Please be careful. Alright, it's so close. Shit! That wasn't my intention. Alright. Let's say like that. Alright, Soon Shwin, get back here. Oh fuck no. Oh my god, my heart was beating out of my chest and it is right now. I thought I was gonna die. If he shielded up that last attack, I would have been fucked. And I don't know how long CME was lasting, but thank god he lasted as long as he did. And it took us 17 minutes and 53 seconds to complete this one. It was really sloppy, I was trying to be a little technical on a couple of things and I'll admit there was a little bit of luck involved. I was not expecting to defeat Sun Chang Xiang that quickly. And I just took that window of opportunity to hit her against the wall like that with that Musu attack. It's just wow. Okay. Anyway, here's our fifth weapon, the Earthly Mace. It has a fire element. It has speed of 24, HP max of 82, defense of 55, bow defense of 50, and a meat bun recovery of 54. I'm sorry, 54, 14. Why am I saying 54 for? Now I definitely know I'm tired. It's almost 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> but yeah. So, and the meat bun recovery, and I was corrected by somebody, and I appreciate that because now I know what it really does. If you run into one dim, uh, not dim sum, one meat bun that does, or that gives you 50 health back with a plus 14, then you'll get 64. You know, then it comes to 100, 114, 150, 164. No, I'm sorry, it's 200. Then uh, 100, 214. There's no 150. But yeah, you catch my drift. Anyway, there we go. So that's the fifth weapon. I am shocked that. That was a really close one, but those close ones what seems to make it fun when <laughs> when it's being watched. So anyway, well worth it. Uh, we lost everybody, but <laughs> I'm not caring about points right now. So yeah. Anyway, there we go. We'll save. And there you have it, you've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you for the next part, we will unlock another 5th weapon. And we're down to our last 3 5th weapons. And I'll say, I'll tell them right now, because I can just think of them off the top of my head right off the bat. We have Zhao Yuan's, you have Zhang Fei's, I'm sorry, not Zhang Fei, Zhao Yuan's, Wang Zhang, and Yuan Xiao. So... That's not the order I'm doing it in, but those are the three that we have left. So Yuan Xiao, Zhao Yuan, and Wang Zhang. 
anyway. Peace.